Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to your girl's channel. Today I will be trying something new. Wait, before we get into this video though, do not try to come for me. I know I am looking rough, but that's the whole point of this video. Y'all gotta see the before and after. So I just went to the beauty supply store and I was walking around and trying to figure out what new can I do to my head. I'm always doing the hint, same, ugh. I'm always doing the same type of hairstyles. And so I was walking around and then I came across this. This is the Outre Quick Pony Afro Puff Duo. I got the color 1B. And like I said, I've never tried this style before. I don't even know if my hair can go back into a ponytail. I've never tried that. We finna go ahead and give it a try. This is gonna be very interesting because as y'all can see, my hair is super short, but my hair is growing though. Like I can definitely say that my hair is really, really growing. Like I used to be bald. When I say bald, I mean bald. Like last year at that. Last year I was bald and look at this. Your girl hair is growing. Like I can show y'all proof. I'm gonna post a picture, matter of fact, I'm gonna post a picture right here so y'all can see that I was literally bald last year. My boyfriend cut my hair and he said, you know, I ain't leaving you no hair on your head. Like just petty, right? Just petty. But we finna get into this hairstyle. Um, I have a few things ready to help me achieve this look. I got my water, spray bottle, of course. I got some moisture milk, some moisturizer, some gel brush i got a few combs i don't know which one i'm gonna be able to use got some miners as well as some rubber band elastic rubber bands and so let's get into it y'all all right so first thing first is i'm going to be sectioning my hair and i'm starting off in the back and spraying it with water then adding some moisturizer i didn't use much gel in the back of my hair just when i got to the front but by sectioning my hair, it makes it easier for me to bring my hair to the back into a ponytail, as well as making sure my hair is as flat as possible. You want your hair to be flat, you want your ponytail to be flat, you don't want any lumps or bumps. And also, my hair is stretched out, which is making it easier for me to be able to part and be able to brush my hair. You don't see a lot of shrinkage going on. I had my hair braided and took those out right before this video, so that's why my hair is a little bit more stretched out. I also don't do that many natural hairstyles with my hair because being a natural is already a lot of work. Like seriously, I love my natural hair at the end of the day. I love my natural hair and I really want to do more with it, so that's why I'm doing this video. And I also want to just do more experimenting and just trying new styles, like I said in the beginning. And so I feel like this is a great start. If you guys have any suggestions or, you know, any natural hairstyles that y'all have in mind, definitely leave me a comment in the comment sections below. Just let me know. I'll be interested in trying. Also, if you guys have any suggestions on products that will help your hair grow or like, you know, as you guys can see, like my edges are pretty thin. So I'm really trying to grow my edges out and I'm interested in knowing any type of products that will help hair growth, edges grow, all of that because I really want to start wearing my natural hair out more often. But I need these edges to grow, y'all. Like I really need them to grow. Like one of the main products that I already use is black castor oil. But if y'all have any other oils that I can like maybe combine or anything else that you guys use or you guys may know of that helps your hair growth, let me know.
So y'all, once I got to the top part of my head and I tried to slick my hair back to the ponytail, I realized that my hair was too short. It was a struggle trying to get my hair in a ponytail. But after some hard work, I was able to bring it all together. I'm telling y'all, dealing with natural hair and my hair type and length at that is hard work. For all my ladies who can relate, I know y'all understand what I'm saying. So I say this to say, my tip for y'all is to make sure you bring your ponytail up some, you bring your ponytail up some and not have it all the way to the back. taking out the afro puff so I can show y'all before actually putting it on I think this pretty much blends with my hair there was other types of puffs with different hair textures but I think I did a good job matching this one with mine and also this afro puff also comes with a drawstring attached so you can tighten it around your ponytail and it also comes with a small comb on the inside bottom of it all right, so now I'm going to go ahead and attach the Afro Puff to my ponytail. And what is this, y'all? I thought it was going to lay my hair down. But obviously it didn't. But we're going to go ahead and continue. All right, now I'm just making sure that the comb is at the bottom before I actually put it onto my ponytail. And once I have it placed where I want it, I went ahead and tightened it. And then I twisted the string around and placed it up under the Afro Puff to hide it. Next, I went back and added some edge control to my hair. I didn't have any jam, so I just added some edge control because I knew that this gel was not going to lay my hair down flat and it wasn't going to stay for long. And then after that, I went ahead and did my makeup, let my hair dry. So as you guys can see, this is the finished look. I thought that I was going to have enough time to be able to do the second hairstyle, but I'm gonna just create another video for that. I did have to use some Barbie pins on both sides because my hair did not reach all the way back to the ponytail. But for the most part, it is staying. The edge control definitely helped with my hair staying because that gel was, mm -mm not for my hair mm -mm, not at all if y'all have any suggestions on what i could have did differently then please let me know leave me a comment in the comment sections below and if you guys enjoyed watching this video make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button and i will catch you all on the next video thanks for tuning in